Hey guys, it's Matt Baker, the co-founder of the HMO platform, and today we're in an amazing project, an amazing property uh, done by one of our clients. This is Scott Nicholas. Uh, so Scott, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background before you did this particular project. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm a plasterer by trade, um, so I'm sort of in the building game, but I'm not a builder. Um, so there's things I don't understand about building. Um, I've got a few places, I've got a couple of buy-to-lets, and I've got one HMO, which is just a standard four-bedroom house. Um, not all on suites, which I rent out as a HMO. So tell me about this particular project. What was it that it was before? What has it become? And what was your aim for the, for the deal? Okay, so this project was, um, it was a three-bedroom house. Um, we've now converted it into a seven-bedroom, seven-on-suite property um, with lots of communal space. Um, we've got a garden room and some outside seating. Yeah, so I just wanted to create a next level HMO that would be pretty future proof. So just trying to put in all the things that you can do to keep it sort of top of the market so that people are always going to be drawn towards it. So let's go into a bit of the numbers. Um, how much did you pay for it? How much did you spend on it? Uh, and what's the estimated GDP at the end? Okay, so I purchased property for 250000 um, I spent quite a lot on it because uh, I did high standard. I spent 235000 yeah, around that sort of figure on it. Um, I'm looking to get a revalue of about five hundred and seventy-five thousand. Yeah, so yeah, that remember. money's kind of well invested in a project because you can get that uplift. And and how do you uh, how are you intending to get that uplift? Uh, so I'm going to refinance it as sui generis, um, get a commercial revaluation, um, and I'll probably end up leaving about sixty thousand in the deal. That's what yeah. I'm planning. Which is not bad. If you've got 60,000 left in, uh, what cash flow do you expect to get uh, on a monthly basis? We're looking at about £1,700 a month for cash flow. That's not bad at all, is it? 60,000. Yeah. No, brilliant. We're looking at about a 34% return on cash invested in a deal. So, Scott, you've actually been one of the quickest uh, off the blocks um, with the mastermind by getting going pretty much on the first session and getting uh, a deal agreed that first month. Hi, I'm Scott Nicholas, and I've been part of the HMO platform for three months now. Uh, I've learned so much about HMOs and all the process of how it all goes together. I've now purchased my first place, uh, which I found while I was on this course. So within three months, I've now purchased my first property to turn into a seven bed, uh, seven on suite HMO. With a commercial refinance, I'm looking to pull out near enough all my money, so then recycle it for the next property. And I should cash flow about 1,200 to 1,500 pound a month profit once this is all done. Being part of the groups really helped me in finding the property or what I need as a foundation to turn it into a next level HMO. Like the shape of the property, having the right head height in the loft um, to maximise under my uh, permit development rights to do the work. And it's also helped massively in like being able to get information where it's something I'm not sure about or I don't know. I can always reach out to the group and find the answer. So I can keep my momentum because otherwise you get stuck on something and then you start thinking about it too much. Being able to come back to you guys has always been that bit of confidence and just helped you, not well helped me along the way. You just need to be able to keep that flow to get the project done. So thanks Scott for joining us and for sharing your story. And for those of you watching, uh, then to find out more information about what we do at the HMO platform and how you can get involved, then click on the link in or around this video.